Speaking of unbelievable packaging, what, what is this all about? So um, we wanted to do something special for Target. Uh, and we no. And, uh, and we created this, what we're calling the Spectrum series. So. Um, Oh God! What the? Oh yes! Primarily All right, we get some more packaging. And tried something different and oh God! Again, what? I have to buy it twice. And yeah, you have to buy it twice, Josh. Wait, it's the same figure, right? It's, it's the, the same figure, but like it's just a special. All right, I'm good. Though. Hi, that's me. That's me reacting to the surprise announcements of the Target exclusive Spectrum boxes, and it has been a complete and utter shit show to get these figures. We took our lightning collection, which is primarily white, and we just flipped it around. I don't like this. <laughs> I do not like the idea of having to buy the figures again in a special box like that. Granted, you can completely skip it if it's not for you, but... I kind of want them just to have everything. And now they have finally been spotted. Well, what if I told you there's more Spectrum boxes for us to track down uh, targets? That is right. Again, foil, pulled out our foil books and did a, uh, a nice holographic treatment across the logo, if you look closely. Premium and, and different. Tom Whalen worked with us on this one. Super cool. And we're only going to do a limited number of these, too. And they'll be available at Target this fall online and in stores. So seriously, guys, try to get your hands on one of these. These are absolutely beautiful. Well done. Oh, this video. This video was one that I originally intended to release all the way back in December of 2020. Obviously, it's nearly April of 2021 and we are finally just getting around to doing this video finally because this video was not even going to be possible in December 2020 as I had once originally thought it would have been. And this is the ridiculous story that it has taken me to be able to finally achieve the goal of having all eight of the Spectrum series Target exclusive Lightning Collection boxes that they released in 2020. Now, this story is pretty, you know, nonsensical. <laughs> it's something that I understand that for a lot of this, you're gonna be wondering, why? Why did you even want the figures? Why did you even want these Spectrum boxes? And why do I care about this story? Truthfully, you probably won't care about this story. But never in my almost decade of collecting have I ever had to go on such a wild goose chase for some things in my collection when they should have been so easy and there could have been so many opportunities where I could have gotten easier and there are so many things that just went wrong that there came a time and many points of time in this whole journey that I was wondering why was I doing this truthfully other than just to be a lightning collection completionist because there were some moments where it seemed like the universe itself wanted me to not complete this task. So let's go ahead and jump all the way back to September of 2020 at Hasbro PulseCon, where I started this video off. Now at Hasbro PulseCon, they had officially announced the Spectrum series as their big final surprise announcement of the livestream event. These were going to be Target exclusive variant packaging of Wave 7s, the new wave at the time that had just been revealed earlier in the same event. Now, honestly, should have seen this coming from a mile away. In 2019, the Star Wars Black series did something kind of like the Spectrum series, in which they released these white box first release like variants of the wave that had Jedi Fallen Order, Rise of Skywalker, and the Mandalorian in it, as like the first week or whatever, they came out in these special white boxes. Which is kind of ironic because with Star Wars, they were bla usual black boxes that got a special white box treatment. While in the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, they are typically white boxes that got a black box treatment. Just a kind of funny way that I looked at that kind of a weird compare and contrast situation. Target. Now if you know, if you collect anything in the Hasbro world, or really anything, I'm looking at you guys, Super 7 TMNT fans, I know you've been going through some hell. Target is a horrible place to get collectibles. It's a horrible place to get exclusives. And uh, not only does the Super 7 TMNT fandom have to deal with that, but the G.I. Joe Classified series have had a real hoot trying to get those Cobra Island figures, so I know that that's been a pain. So when they announced these to be, you know, Target exclusives, my good buddy Chris over at Lawn's Toys, who was on the live stream with me, had this to say. And oh, it's an eBay exclusive. exclusive. That's interesting. One thing that really irked me all the way from the beginning of this whole journey was the fact that the Spectrum... They were kind of just, oh, we'll, we'll have them out in the fall. Well, it was already the fall. It was September. That's fall to me. 
So it was like, well, when are they actually going to come out? We weren't sure if they were ever going to just drop on Target.com randomly one day. We didn't know if I would have to try to go find them in store in the middle of a pandemic. Thankfully, my friends over at RR The Streets all offered right away to help me find them if once they did come out because they didn't care about the getting the Spectrum ones and they knew I would care. And I had a lot of other people reach out to try to help me throughout this journey. And honestly, I have a lot of people to think on this journey. So I will definitely be saying that once we get into how I actually finally achieved this thing. But we didn't know. Now, there are some people all the way back in September who had the perfectly right idea from the start, and I commend all of them for it. They pre-ordered the Wave 7 figures specifically from Target, even though the site didn't have any indication that they were going to be the Spectrum versions, they were just pre-ordering them as a cautionary measure. And yeah, they had the right idea. And now they have finally been spotted. So thanks to the member of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Facebook group, J.R. Alamares, they found that these were spotted on eBay and they were finally out in the stores. So now the hunt officially began. How was I going to get these things? Now, people were checking constantly on BrickSync and trying to things like PopFinder to try to find what targets had these figures. But they were popping up under the same DCPI as the regular Lightning Collection figures. So it made it really hard to find if your store had them or if they didn't have them. Thankfully, only the same week actually that they were originally found, or just about one week later, on the second weekend of November of 2020, my dad went out to the store at Target and found me Dino Thunder Red. Finally, we have finally been able to get them, right? We're starting the journey, we got Dino Thunder Red, we're kicking off the Spectrum strong. He looked for the other ones, he couldn't find the other ones, but that's okay, because you know, not even a week after they were found and we're already starting, only three more to go. This is gonna be a breeze. In this first week, and for a couple of weeks while they were first out, all the way up until December, they were street dated for December 1st. And Target has a good habit of just putting things out on the shelves way too early, so they would kind of scream at you if you tried to buy them. Now, my father was able to actually purchase this one for me. But since they went up to the self-checkout and he scanned it and it didn't come up as anything as that happens, the associate helped him out. However, she didn't know exactly what it was, so she charged him $25 for it. So we were already on a great start by being charged $5 more than the retail amount, while some people's targets just charged them like $3 because they didn't know what it was. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. A couple days later, I get a DM. Someone has a Mighty Morphin Green Ranger one to sell me. Fantastic. I didn't even have the regular Mighty Morphin Green Ranger figure box at that point. That's awesome. Deal fell through. It happens. It's fine. I message a guy on Facebook. He asks me for a ridiculous price. Nope, not doing that one. Oh man, we're getting there, right? Finally, we get our second one secured. This one happens on Friday, November 20th, 2020. And this is where we're going to get a new factor thrown into this whole thing. So Razzle1337 on Twitter put up Mighty Morphin White and said, you know, up for sale for this price. It was retail price. Totally good with that. No one had claimed it. I saw the tweet like an hour after he posted it. I was like, oh, this has got to be gone right now, right? I DM him. He still has it. Fantastic. So I bought it from him. He shipped it out. And then it got lost in hell. The USPS is going to be our greatest enemy in this entire saga. Let me tell you that. So put a little pin on that one. The fact that I sh that, uh, just want to put a little pin and remind you. Mighty Morphin White shipped out on November 24th. Tuesday, November 24th, 2020. From the same country as I'm in, in the United States. And I'm gonna just, uh, we'll come back to it when it finally arrives, because it's gonna take a while. Well, what if I told you there's more Spectrum boxes for us to track down now at Targets? That is right, there are surprise Spectrum box releases for the Versus 2 Packs Wave 1 and the Monsters Wave 1. I thought I was halfway done. And turns out, uh-uh, I was a fourth of the way done. I was only a quarter of the way there. Because on Sunday, November 22nd, two days after I secured Mighty Morphin White, the Spectrum Versus Packs and the Spectrum Monsters were found. And here we go. So they had now doubled the amount of Spectrums I needed to collect. And while I know it's kind of dumb to complain about this, but I am going to be a little salty about it. The Spectrum Monsters and the Spectrum Versus Packs to this day 
which this video is going out on Monday, March 29th, 2021. It has now been like four months since those were found. Hasbro has never commented on them ever. They've never mentioned that they even existed. Finally, at the beginning of December, Target.com put them up and they sold out pretty quickly, but at the time we still didn't really know if they were gonna be Spectrums or not. Although there was kind of been some inclinations that this was gonna happen because a couple days prior, some people's Mighty Morphin White restocks from Wave 7 started arriving and they were getting the Spectrum versions, even though the website only ever showed the regular box versions. So then when they went up, naturally I was like, okay, this is fine, this will work. Hello Lightning Collection fans. Got a little unboxing to do today, nothing too crazy, not a long super video. This is gonna be a box from Target.com, but I want to not look at this because I don't want to be spoiled. So we're gonna open here and then, all right, I'm not gonna look. It's the Spectrum one! <laughs> Alright. So, the actual paint on the figures looks good too. I've seen some pretty horrible looking <laughs> Ace Squad blues. Um, so yeah, my second Spectrum arrives in the mail and it is literally missing a piece. I think he... Mine's missing a hand. Target. Guys, what the heck? Um... You have got to be kidding me at this point, right? Like, overcharged for the first one, missing piece on the second one. But here's the thing. Not only was that pack missing a piece, at the bottom on the barcode, there was a big orange sticker over it. And I'm like, that's kind of obnoxious. I'm like, it's kind of weird. Because the sticker had the barcode for the regular version of the packaging. And uh, it was covering the Spectrum one. So it was kind of like, well, that's interesting and weird that there's a sticker there. It's like, it's labeled as the, like, the thing is on the site, but they obviously sent me the thing that I wanted, so whatever with that. Now, only about a week after the whole missing piece fiasco, my dad went to another Target, and well... And look at that. It actually has the effect piece in it. The paint still looks pretty okay. It actually has all the pieces this time. So that will be, will be replacing that one. So, my dad found me that, and my dad found me this one in Space Red versus Astronomer. So yeah, at that point, we had found the versus packs, we had got Dino Thunder Red, Mighty Morphin from White was on the way. Okay, that's great. Now we are literally actually half done. We just gotta wait for that fourth one to come in, and then we just gotta find the monsters and the other two wave sevens, and we'll be pretty keen. So, we did actually get the other two Wave 7s, finally. So, a good friend of mine, he had ordered Wave 7 off of Target, but wasn't, you know, he didn't care about the Spectrums. He wasn't collecting that like I am. So, he didn't know about the fact that when he pre-ordered them, that they would be arriving Spectrum, because he pre-ordered them months prior, and, you know, and that was still when they arrived. I, just, I gave him a heads up, I'm like, hey, I know you're not collecting the Spectrums. They might be the Spectrums when you get them. And they were from Mighty Morphin Green and the z Putty, which were, you know, coincidentally, the last two that I needed from Wave 7. He got them in the mail. They were that ones. They were the Spectrum ones. And so he's like, did you want them? And I said, yes, I did. He charged me retail for them. I paid them. Everything's all, oh my, what is that? What is on that box? Why did they put the sticker in front of the logo? On the SPD blue pack, they put it on the barcode. The part that I would never see. They put it on the logo. Target. I have one with a sticker on it, right? At that point, I hadn't gotten the replacement versus pack yet, so I can just try taking the stickers off. It can't be that hard, right? I can practice on this one. If I screw it up, I, I'm getting a replacement anyway, right? It'll be fine. So let's take the hair dryer to it and let's do it. So we got the versus packs in, so let's go ahead and take, you know, a, a second here and see where's Mighty Morphin White at, so okay shipped out on November 22nd. It should have been here November 30th. Uh, where is it now? It's in Missouri. It's in Missouri? That's the complete opposite direction. It's coming from North Carolina. I'm in Ohio. 
So naturally, if you look at a map, you go Missouri. Now that Mighty Morphin Green and the Z Putty that I bought for my friend were supposed to be here on Monday, December 7th. Naturally, they arrived five days later on Saturday, December 12th. While Mighty Morphin Green and the Z Putty were taking a five day vacation about two hours away from my house, it was okay because we finally secured the final two spectrums. A good friend of mine, Nick Joseph, who, had, if you haven't seen, was a co-host with me on Squall Charleston's Versus series where we ranked all the Power Rangers series, which I'll be leaving in the description down below if you guys want to check that out. He reached out to me and he said, I, hey, I got the Spectrum Monsters, I can hook you up with them. So he hooked me up with them. Fantastic. He gave me a really good price on them. I was able to, you know, get that situated very easily. It was like the most seamless, you know, possible purchase with the Spectrums that we've had thus far which is why it's going to be the one that goes the most wrong. We're going to put a pin on that one too, because finally, five days after just chilling out two hours away from me, Mighty Morphin Green and the Z Party finally showed up at my door on Saturday, December 12th, which means we had to take care of those stickers that we had talked about before. I'm currently recording this part on December 12th, Saturday, December 12th, 2020. I bought this on Monday, November 30th. He shipped it out on Tuesday, or actually Wednesday, December 2nd. Then from there, it was supposed to be here on Monday, December 7th. I'm like terrified. I just am scared. Uh. Ooh, you threw in little goodies at the bottom from, oh shoot, these are from CV. Oh my God, okay, oh no, oh no. There's so many stickers, there's so many stickers. No. I knew, okay, I knew there'd be stickers, but this is okay, all right. I'm like, just terrified that these are just gonna like explode in my hands, because that would be pretty fitting. But here we go, here is Spectrum MMPR Green. Look at that. I didn't raise this up all the way. Let's raise it a tiny bit more. There we go. Spectrum MMPR Green. Spectrum Z Putty. Now you might be looking, look at that. Now I knew, Kevin sent me the photo. I knew that these had stickers on them. I knew that he had one right here. I didn't know he had one right there. I knew he had one right there. I didn't know he had one right there. So. <laughs> and slot them in there as we continue our spectrum wall. And only two days later, after its trip in Missouri, hope it had a good time near the Great Arch. It finally showed up here. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Which means we finally got to complete the original four. All four of the Wave 7s, both the Versus packs. Now all we had to do, all we had to do was wait for those monsters to arrive. And this would finally be all over. You know, I said, great, we're gonna have the final two. We're gonna have a video out on the Spectrums. I'm gonna call out the Spectrum Saga. We're gonna have it out before Christmas. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. That is not what ended up happening with those. So, on December 15th, 2020, my package went into the dreaded, in transit, arriving late. And I was like, okay, you know, holiday rush, packages are taking longer anyway, they're especially gonna take long because of the holidays. Fine, they're, they'll pop up eventually, right? Eventually. So then it became Christmas and you know, the mail's closed because of the holidays and everything. And it became New Year's and that didn't happen. It still says in transit arriving late. Okay, yeah, we should probably open a claim now at this point. So I opened up a claim with the USPS and I'm like, yo, I get it, packages are late, that's fine. Could you like at least tell me where it is? Because it literally just was stuck on in transit arriving late. And it's like, but where is it? Like, I would understand if you were late, if you told me where you were. No offense, nothing that Nick did with this when he shipped them out is his fault. This was all the USPS. Once they left his hands, he had nothing to do with this. So if you're watching this, Nick, you were very helpful in helping me complete the Spectrum collection. It's just the USPS just dropped the ball. So at this point, it was now 2021, and still no updates on what had happened to the Spectrum Monsters. We hit that one month anniversary on January 15th, and still no update whatsoever, except we did finally get a resolution to the claim from the USPS. 
So I, you know, told them the correct value of what the figures were, you know, with, you know, how much I paid for everything, and they decided, we'll refund you most of it. Not all of it. We'll refund you all of it by, like, only just not giving you, like, five bucks. So I was like, okay. So basically they just gave me everything. They gave me, like, 95% of what I paid for it. Whatever. That works. I can take it. So it was like, okay, well, I got the money back. I'll just find them somehow. It would be kind of annoying, you know, whatever. Thankfully, though, in the meantime, my good friend Rai, also from RR The Streets, she said, hey, I saw the Spectrum Monsters in the store. I bought them for you since I know yours are fell into a black hole. And uh, if they don't ever show up, I got them for you. So I had, I had a contingency plan, which is great. Got the money back, had a contingency plan. We're going to be able to finish this off, right? It's going to be fantastic. So I texted her. I'm like, hey, so just so you know, got my money back. So I'm ready to ship them out and everything whenever you get the chance to. And she's like, cool, just give me a couple days and everything and we'll be all good. So I was like, sweet. She'll ship it out. It will arrive. It will finally be done. And I can finally make the Spectrum video month to do a month ago. And it will be great. Well, that's not exactly what ended up happening. No. So, they just showed up one day. They just arrived. It was Wednesday, January 20th. And, uh, never heard a knock. Never heard a doorbell. No. They were just sitting there. They were very cold, because since they had fell into a black hole, the tape on the box outside had kind of undone a little bit, so, like, all the condensation was really getting on the inside of these. So they were like a, they were like a, a whole misty window. You should have seen them. I was dumbfounded, let me tell you. <laughs> they just they just showed up. They just showed up. And uh, to this day, which now it has been over two months since I got the final two, to this very day, I keep the tab open on my phone just to kind of laugh at it sometimes. And I'll show you. To this day, the tracking still shows it in transit arriving late as of December 15th, 2020. It still shows that. So they don't even know. I don't even know if the USPS ever figured out that they even delivered the box to me at all. I have no idea. But I don't really care, because we got them, you know? It's done. We have all eight of them. There was no stickers on these things. They just fell, their, their curse was falling into a black hole. That's it. Finally, January 20th, we completed the whole set. All eight of them, all eight Spectrum boxes, we finally did it. Uh, and it was a lot harder than I ever thought it was ever going to be. Lots of people just found them all at their targets, or they got them all online, because once I had actually secured all eight of them, of course, naturally, they all popped up on Target.com in the beginning of January for just an easy click, ship, get it. That would have been great to know, especially because Target ships with FedEx, so they wouldn't have gone for the whole USPS crap. So it was like, wow. If I just would have waited a little bit, it would have been so much more easier, but you know, I'm impatient, it's fine, it's whatever. <laughs> but, that's it. That is the entire saga of the Spectrum series that took so long to make the video, it took so long to get the figures, and I wanted to share it all with you guys. So let me know down in the comments below, did you collect this wacky subline of weird exclusive boxes that they made, obviously to get more money out of us? Do you want the Spectrums to continue? I'm good if they never come back personally, but that's just from my own experience. Of course, if they do, well, hopefully that they're you know, easier to get than last time. That's all I have for today. This, I know, was probably a very long video, and a lot of it was probably just me being very snarky or sarcastic or kind of moody, I guess. But, you know, just wanted to kind of have some fun with it because looking back on it, it's just kind of one of those things where, you know, maybe if they were easier for me to get, I wouldn't have enjoyed them as much as I do now because they were so hard to get in the first place. And I have all those memories of how long it took. So that's all I got. I've been talking for long enough. Thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at Live and Ranger Key or at Lightning Fig PR. Thank you so much for the support. And until next time, I'll see you all for more Lightning Collection videos and Tokusatsu in general videos. Until then, Tokusatsu forever.